Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I waited because I wanted to make sure that I got a little more facts, okay? Now, listen, this right here is exactly what I have called it to be, and you know that I'm telling the truth. This is so fucking obvious, man, that it's not even laughable. You can't even laugh at anything like this, and I'm going to tell you why you can't. Now, first of all, nobody was killed. Nobody was hurt. This man was not injured at all, okay? He knew exactly what was going to happen. They ran through it and told him exactly what to do. That's why it was so many agents there. That's why it was uh, 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 the task force military team there. Have you ever saw such a thing with a candidate? I mean, I know that this 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 is the former president, but still he's he's president no more. OK, and he's trying to run again. With that much security and while I'm on security. How the hell couldn't they have spotted. This suspected shooter. On top. That they showed on top of whatever, on top of a building or a fucking shed. I don't know what the fuck that was, man. It could be computer generated like his face is going to be. When they decide to show exactly who he is. See, right now, they're making the story up about who he is. You know, oh, he was ex-military and he had started getting in a little trouble here and there and uh he had some mental problems and you know they got to build a story first to go along with the computer generated face okay because i'm telling you there is no fucking suspect if you believe this listen i'm telling you what these people are doing man trump wants to get in so fucking bad he knows that he fucked up when he all but told all of those damn rednecks to break into the Capitol and do exactly what they did. And he knew that that was very damaging, okay? He had to have a Trump card, no less. Something that would ensure that he would get sympathy. Not only sympathy, but he would gain the votes of people that wouldn't vote for him. You understand? Now, I can guarantee you 50%. And it might be even more than 50% of the people that already had their mind made up. Listen, I'm not going to vote for this jerk. Now they're going to vote for him because they're going to fall for this shit, man. And this shit was fucking staged. I don't care what nobody say, man. He shot 10 times and only hit Trump in the ear. Didn't hit anybody else. All right. At first, I was calling this out. With two of my colleagues, I kid you not, 10 minutes later, it's almost like they were listening, okay? 10 minutes later, they came out and said, oh, well, um, you know, somebody else uh, was injured to the point that they died, and then we have somebody that's fighting for their life also, too. Because they knew that they had to build a story because people wasn't believing it. Because everybody was going to the same idea of, how did he shoot that many times, right? And didn't hit anybody. And only hit Trump in the ear. Do you know how fast a bullet comes out of a gun, ladies and gentlemen? Especially a rifle, okay? Do you know how large the bullets are concerning a rifle? You get hit in the ear. Guess what? Your ear's coming off. It's not going to be a fucking nick. You understand? There's no fucking way, man. He shot more than 10 times and only hit Trump once. <laughs> oh, my God. See, that's why they got to build the story because they want to go with ex-military because that's going to sound good. But then they don't want to go with ex-military to fit the profile because then people will question it and say, well, wait, 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 wait. How did he miss then? How did he miss fucking 10 times? My thing is, how didn't he hit more people. All those people were like fucking packed in like roaches. And you only killed one and injured another one? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly what they're trying to do, okay? They want Trump in 
because we are about to go to war. Trump is a warmonger, okay? He's a warmonger. They know that he will say yes to war, and war is big business for these companies, man. Not just one company, but a slew of companies, multiple companies. They love going to war. They don't care how many people die on both sides, even their own people, because they make billions, even trillions of dollars off war, even the rumors of wars. So no less going into a full-scale war. Yes, yes, that's exactly what they want to do. But that's just one of the reasons why they want him in there also, too. There are other reasons that I could call out, but I don't have time to do so in this video. But I can guarantee you a part two is coming out, man. This was staged, ladies and gentlemen. You have to put your thinking caps on and you really have to pay attention to what's going on and what leads up to these staged events. Okay? They will try their best to fool you. But one of the other reasons is, and it's very important that I mention this, he wants to sway the vote of more people. Okay? Like I said at the beginning, 50% of the people that wasn't going to vote for him are now going to vote for him because of sympathy. Because they're going to be thinking, it could have been me. It could have been one of my loved ones. Okay? Now, right now, concerning the shooter, they're deciding, should we make him white? Should we make him black? Should we make him Spanish? So they're going through the scenarios. They're having meetings right now, and they're trying to iron out the profile. They're trying to iron out the computer-generated face that they're going to give you. I can guarantee you, if they even show who it is, and I, I seriously doubt they, listen, I wouldn't be surprised if they would come out and say, well, we don't want to glorify these type of things. So uh, we have chosen uh, by Trump's request not to show the shooter. <laughs> and you're going to know for sure then 100% that this was staged. I'm telling you. Now, they're trying to iron this out right now. They're probably listening, reading comments and, you know, now, if they do decide to come out with a photo, a background, and a profile, and a manifest, and all this shit that they always have attached to, you know, people like this, you know, mental illness, and so forth, and so on, I can guarantee you nobody won't know this cat. I can guarantee you nobody. Now, now what they're going to do is, they're going to pay people to say that they know him. Oh, he was my neighbor, and I knew it was something suspicious about him, and he always talked about how he hated Trump. Mark my words, that's exactly what they're going to do, man. Listen, we need to stand firm, and we need to stand together, because there's no telling what these people have up their fucking sleeve, man. I'm telling you, we are going into a full-scale civil war. And it's one of the other reasons why I decided to do this video right now. This is a fucking warning. I'm telling you, man, listen, strap up, get food, supplies, medications, everything that you need, the necessities to live, okay? Because I'm telling you, we are going into a full-scale war, civil war, on American soil amongst each other. Now, some people would call it a white and black war, and, but I'm telling you, everybody is really going to be against everybody. It's going to start out like that. It's going to be racially motivated, and then it's going to progress to the other races, either joining one side or the other. And then it'll end up, it's going to be just a free-for-all. I have been calling this prediction for a long time, man. It's going to be like the wild, wild west. You won't be able to stick your head out the door without gunshots, hearing gunshots and feeling uh, uh, bullets going and breezing by your fucking head. I can guarantee you, man. I can guarantee you. And if it ever, if it ever starts, I can guarantee you there won't be a military and there won't be police. You know why? Because on the police forces, armed services, 
They have families that they have to take care of, man. They can't leave and try to do that job and then worry about their family members at the same time. They can't do it. They can't do it. So they're going to choose, listen, I quit right now. Whatever you want to do to me is fine, but I have to protect my family. I have no choice. I have to protect my family. I have to stay home. I have to barricade the house. I have to get prepared so I can protect my family. There's no way I can just leave my family behind and they're not going to do it. I can guarantee you. That's why it won't be a military and it won't be a police force. So forget about martial law and all. It might be activated later when they finally get things under control from volunteers. Um, I think this is why they are putting together um, a NATO uh, uh, armed forces because most of those members don't have family members. And, um, and they elect for these members uh, to have lives like that because of situations that's going to come up like a full-scale civil war. Now, you know, now that's the exception. Uh, but when it first starts, they won't be activated right away. OK, that's going to be mass casualties. And it's nothing that we can do about it, man. This is destiny. This is destiny. man. If you don't believe it, then I don't know what to tell you. I really don't, man. This is more serious than people want to believe that it is. They just think it's just about Trump and he's waving his hand up in the air. They didn't get me. I'm strong. And I listen, man, this was staged. If that person, or should I say, if a real person really wanted to take him out first shot, he would be dead. It would have been a head shot. He would be dead. And they know it. That's why they're going to have to account for that when they develop and create this fucking profile for this man and the whole story and the background and the computer generated face and everything, then they're going to really lie about Trump's injuries and say he had to get stitches and staples and half his ear came off. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Cause if that would have happened, ain't no damn way he would be waving his fist up in the air. That shit looked like strawberry fucking jelly. That's why they, 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 they covered him up. One of them had it inside their pockets. All of my actors. I've never seen, listen, man. <laughs> I was in the military for over fucking 20 years, man. Okay. For over 20 years. None of them look military trained. None of them look military trained at all. Now, we can argue this back and forth. None of them look Secret Service trained at all. They covered him up so nobody could see one of them going inside their pocket or their coat pocket, pulling out that damn strawberry fucking jelly and smearing it all over his fucking ear. That shit didn't look like fucking blood. Have you ever seen blood like that, man? That bright red like that, man. See, they wanted to make sure people could see it on TV and video. And I, Man, get the fuck up out of here with that shit, man. We have to stop believing bullshit like this, man. I'm telling you. Because it's only going to get worse. And then that house was believing something that'll take all our fucking rights away. We don't have rights now. <laughs> we barely got it now. I'm telling you, man. Listen, we have to let them know. Listen. You are not getting over on us. It's not going to fucking happen, man. It's not going to happen. You ain't getting over on us. We know the game. We see the fucking play. You don't have it. You haven't succeeded. We know. Part two coming, man.